Hi and welcome back to another lesson in the physics video series. Today we will be discussing pushing baby carriages versus pulling sleds. And as you could see already from these diagrams, we have vectors of force that are not along the horizontal and we're going to have to resolve them before we can deal with the problem. Okay, let's get started. In all the problems we've dealt with so far, the applied force was horizontal and parallel to the surface. But now we're going to deal with forces that are not parallel to the surface, but are in fact are on an angle. We're going to need to resolve vectors so that we can have exclusive X and exclusive Y components. Let me remind you of what that looks like. A few videos back, I taught you the quadrant method for finding the perpendicular components of any particular vector. We're going to be using this diagram and particularly information from quadrants 1 and 4 to assist us with our example. Let's take a look at it. In the case of pushing a baby carriage or a lawnmower, you can see that the force is directed down and on an angle. This is a quadrant 4 vector and it has the components fx and negative fy. The fx will be pushing to the right while some of the force will be directed downward along the y-axis. We already learned about the weight and the balance with the normal force and now that we have had a lesson on friction we could put this all together in an f-net equation to find the overall motion of an object being pushed from an angle to the right. If we were to look at dragging an object, say pulling a sled, or like this athlete is dragging this tire, we see that we're dealing with a quadrant one vector, and so it has a positive fx and a positive fy component. The x component is what is doing the pulling, just like on the left side, the fx component is what's doing the pushing. The fy component is doing the lifting when you're pulling the object from the front and the fy component is doing pressing if you're pushing from behind. The direction of the fy component is very important because it contributes to the amount of experienced friction since the normal force is equal to mu mg, the weight, when you press down and push forward, you actually add a bit more friction to the object because you are increasing the weight by the amount Fy that you press down. However, when you drag something that's behind you, the Fy is a positive vector and it's a little bit of a lift. So you make the object slightly lighter and therefore there is less friction. Let's take a look at the mathematics equations for these situations. In the following diagrams, I have the free body diagram set up for the horizontal force as we've learned in the previous videos, and then two variations. One, where I pull the non-horizontal force, quadrant one vector, and the other, where I push with a non-horizontal force, like pushing a lawnmower. You can see that I've made the horizontal component Fx blue in all three cases. You can see that I've made the weight Fg black, and you can see the normal force is green, and the friction is red and friction is always opposed to the horizontal force, Fx. Let's take a look at the Fnet equations for all three conditions. The first condition is what we already know, right minus left, and since the blue vector is on the x-axis exclusively, it's the blue minus the red friction, right minus left, equals ma. However, when you're pulling a wagon and you're dealing with a quadrant one vector, you're dealing with an Fx component an fx component, which is f cosine theta. So it's a bit smaller of a component than it would be if it was totally flat. It's still f net equals right minus left. It's fx, f cosine theta, minus that friction. But in the case of pushing a lawnmower, even though your fx is still pointing to the right, now you have a downward pointing fy vector. Let's take a look at the vertical f net equation. f net vertical is equal to up minus down. In the case of the horizontal force, the normal minus the weight equals zero if there is no acceleration, thereby making the normal equal to the weight. However, when you're pulling a wagon at a constant speed where there is no acceleration, you still start with F net equals up minus down. However, all the forces that point up minus all the forces that point down must equal zero. So in this case, 
F normal points up minus the weight which points down plus the orange vertical component of the force Fy, which is F sine theta, points up. Since it equals zero for no acceleration, the normal force itself is equal to the full weight minus the Y component. However, in the case of pushing a lawnmower where the Y component points down, because this is a fourth quadrant vector, the vertical F net equation up minus down becomes the following. MA equals zero, because there is no acceleration when you have a constant speed, equals the force normal, which points up minus the weight, which points down, minus the vertical component, Fy, which also points down. Solving this equation for F normal, we can see that the normal force is now equal to the weight plus the Y component. So in essence, when you are pulling a wagon, as I said earlier, you have a positive vertical component, which makes this object slightly lighter. So the normal force matches that and is slightly less. When you are pushing a lawnmower, the downward force is really down and to the side. This is a push and a press, and so the extra press adds to the weight. Therefore, the normal force responds and is larger, and you're going to see that turns out to have more friction. So pulling a wagon is pull and lift, and pushing a lawnmower is push and press down. Pull and lift up, push and press down. That makes a difference in the friction reaction. And let's take a look and see how that works. If F equals mu normal, Fn is F normal, then it's the value of mu multiplied by Fg minus Fy. And if I wrote it out longhand, the weight is mg and the Fy component is F sine theta. And there's a natural conclusion that comes out of this. If you are partially lifting the object while you're pulling it, then you have less weight. If you have less weight, then you have a smaller normal force. If you have a smaller normal force, then ultimately the object experiences less friction. If the angle is zero and you have a flat horizontal push, then of course this equation reduces back to F equals mu force normal. You can see that these equations will return back to the simplest forms under certain conditions of zero angles. Now in the case of pushing a lawnmower, we can see that the vertical equation F net equals up minus down leads us to have a larger normal. F normal equals the weight plus the downward press. So F equals mu normal and normal is the weight plus the Y component of the force. Written out longhand, weight is mg, and the y component is f sine theta. Once again, if you press down, you have a negative fy, which increases the overall weight, and therefore the overall normal is larger, leading to more friction. Also, if the angle here was to go to zero, the force angle was to be totally horizontal, of course, sine zero is zero, and this would also break down back to the standard f equals mu f normal equation. So in conclusion, we see that the horizontal applied force F on the X is no different than if I had an applied force on an angle, be it a quadrant one or quadrant four type of vector. In the cases of quadrants one and four, you simply have to resolve the vector into its horizontal and vertical components. A quadrant one vector has positive X and Y components but a quadrant four vector has a positive x and a negative y component. Positive y component is the lift and the negative y component is the press. Lift and press. If you slightly lift, you reduce the weight, you reduce the normal, you reduce the friction. If you press, you increase the weight, thereby increasing the normal, thereby increasing the friction. And that explains the whole concept with a vector that is on an angle. I hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.